everyone, my name is Morgan. I've been a travel agent since 2017. I've also been a Travify user for the last five years and I'm really looking forward to showing you how I use decisions today. So um, I have a quote started here that I'm working on for a honeymoon couple. And I just quickly want to show you how I create all of my proposals and get everything prepped to be able to send my decision. So first, I'm going to start by adding the last hotel option that I'm going to send for them. So I'm just going to come up here. And for me, it's super easy to basically just duplicate things. And so I'm going to go up here and duplicate this within the trip itself. And then I'm gonna be able to take this and use it for my new trip. So I'm just gonna add all the information that I want this to be. I'm gonna edit this and change it to my new hotel. And then I'm gonna go into the actual proposal and delete the hotel. So all of this information is gonna stay the same because I'm quoting all of this with the same supplier, but I do wanna remove everything from Atelier. And then I'm gonna quickly pull in Unico, which is the last hotel I am going to quote. Okay, so I have that pulled in and now I just need to update my pricing. And I know everyone does pricing different, but I really like to do kind of this layout so I can quickly come in and just put in all of the different prices. You are watching this in real time as I try to get this done for a couple. All right, so I have that all done. And then I just need to come back up here and I need to put in my actual starting price for this one. All right, so that's all I needed to do to add that last proposal. So now I have all three of my proposals and I just want to prepare my credit card authorization. So a part of the new decisions, which I absolutely love, is the fact that you can send up to three forms with your proposals. And this really helps me just eliminate a lot of back and forth and so I'm gonna create a new credit card authorization form for this couple. And I'm gonna label it for them so I know who is completing this. And then in order to send a credit card authorization in this way, you do have to have all of this stuff pre-filled out. Um, so it really is up to you if you wanna do it this way, but I love it again because I can just send it off to the client super quick. So I'm going to include like what the deposit is for, what it includes and when it's due by so my client knows. And then I know that it's uh, $720 is due. And I want this available for 100 days for me. And so I'm going to say done. And so now that populated there for me and I'm ready to send all of this to my client. So now I'm gonna go to new decision and select the three proposals I wanna send. Now, this part is what I love, the new look of it, and so excited to be able to like have all of this side by side. So I, this is why I like to put that starting price point so they can see kind of that starting price point for each um, and every hotel, and then see you know what everything is that I'm quoting. They can come in here and see if what's on each day, but they're also gonna be able to see the entire proposal. So now what I'm gonna do is add my summary for each one. And for me, I basically just put like, why I think this is a good option for them. So it's gonna vary based on every single um, client because I pick different things based on their interest and what they've shared with me is really important. So I'm just quickly copying and pasting those things in right now. So you don't have to watch me misspell a bazillion things. So I have all that ready to go um, and I'm just going to click continue and now I get to add my forms. So my client profile form that is like to collect their passport and everything. So I want to send that to them, of course, my terms and conditions and then that credit card authorization. That's everything I need to be able to take next steps. And I'm going to select continue. And now I am just going to send this to myself. but just so you kind of have an understanding of um, what it's gonna look like when the client gets it. And then put in that custom message that they're gonna see in that email. So I'm gonna hit send. And then we will wait for that email to come through and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just got that email. And so this is what it looks like when your client receives it. They're gonna be able to see all of this. They're gonna see the three different um, options that you're sending and then um, the little message that you sent and then they can hit 
review the proposals. And it's going to take them right back to that site that we set up. Again, so they can see everything right side by side, click through it. They also can come and view a detailed description that you put together um, for them with that whole package pricing and everything on here. So this is what they're able to see. And I just love this option because it makes it really seamless for them to be able to go through and do all of that. And then when they're ready to select the hotel that they want, they simply say, select this option, they confirm it, and then the forms get put right in front of them. So they're able to go through and fill out all of those forms that you need to be able to take the next step. And this right here is a huge time saver for me, um, just because again, I can prep them in my email that I send that this is going to be coming to them. And then I do need those forms as they're getting going. So this is how I use it. And it's absolutely even more of a game changer than starting with Travify five years ago. So I'm absolutely loving this new tool. I hope this walkthrough of how I use decisions is helpful for you and hopefully gave you some great ideas on how you can start using this tool. But I'm Morgan and that's how I Travify. Mm -hmm.